Welcome to my channel. I am R.S. Rajkumar, a physics teacher as well as physics learner. Uh, first of all, learning is an understanding process. The true test of understanding something is the ability, of, uh, ability to solve the problems concerning it. Of course, reading about the topic, reading about a particular topic is often a necessary step in a learning process, but it's by no means a sufficient one. The more important step in a learning process is to spend as much more time as possible in order to solve the problem beyond the time you spend for reading process. Physics. If you consider physics, it involves a great deal of problem solving. Otherwise, or if you are reading a book on your favorite subject or doing a research on a particular topic, it is very necessary to solve the problem to understand what you are doing. So, now I am going to explain you the general strategies for solving the problems, especially in the physics. This video, the later on, I am going to upload the videos on physics problems only. How to solve the physics problems, how to understand the nature by using that physics problems will be done later. In order to do that, we must know the strategies for solving the physics problems. There are so many general strategies for solving the physics problem. Uh, very first strategy is draw the diagram if appropriate. The picture is definitely worth a thousand words. When you read the problem, you must draw the diagram from what your mind understands about that problem. At once, you must denote or label clearly all the relevant parameters in that, in that diagram given in the problem. So this picture, this diagram can be make, can be change a more complicated hopeless problem into a nearby trivial one. This is the first step involving in a problem solving. The second one is write down what you know and what you are trying to find. In a simple problem, you can do this roughly in your mind without realizing it. But in a complicated problem, you must write down all the things explicitly out. For example, if there are three unknown quantities or unknown parameters that you are going to find. If you have written two of the facts from that given data, then it clearly implied that uh, one thing is missing, that thing has to be found out in the problem. So this is the second step, write down what you know and what you are trying to find. The third one is a very important step, solve the things symbolically. If you are given a problem with a lot of uh, numerical parameters, but manipulating a mathematics by using that numerical parameters is a difficult one. Instead of doing this, the problem solving will be simplified by denoting that parameters symbolically. So you denote all the parameters given in the problem by letters or symbols. Solve that problem step by step, you will get on final expression, plug in the numerical values, actual numerical values into that final expression, you will get a final numerical answer. This is the step, third step in uh, strategies for solving a problem. It has so many advantages. First one is it's quicker. Manipulating a mathematical calculation will take so much time and if you solve it by equations and expressions, it will take less time so you can solve the things symbolically will make uh, problem solving quicker. Then less mistake. You will do the less mistakes. For example, we may mistype 8 instead of 9 if we manipulate a calculation in a calculator. But it's not possible to use or miswrite Q instead of G when writing symbols. 
even though if we are doing right if we are doing to write like this you don't worry about that the final expression will exclude all the cues which is irrelated to that problem that is the second one the third one is you can do the problems once and for all in the final expression if you substitute a wrong value you will get a wrong numerical answer but if you get a final expression in a correct way then even though you substitute that wrong values you have one more chance to correct that wrong answer by substituting the correct values this implies you can do uh, problems once and for all you can get different numerical answers for different numerical parameters the fourth one is you can find a general dependence of answer on various quantity so if you get an answer it may depend on various quantities for example if the answer depends on a and b you can find what happens to the answer if a will be increased or decreased this dependence can be identified if and only if the problem is treated symbolically this is the very most important thing in the physics while you solving a problems fourth strategy is to check units or dimension when you look at the units before you start problems can tell you what answers has to look like up to the numerical factors when you look at the units at the end of calculations it will tell you whether the answer is being correct or not then the last strategy is approximation in the limiting case if you are having a trouble on figuring out how the systems will behave then you can modify the parameters either smaller or larger that will uh, used to observe the answer with some modification that is said to be a limiting case and the approximations these are the general strategies to be followed when you are solving a physical problems or problems in physics these five are the general strategies for solving the problems you have to keep these strategies in the back of your mind on tackling the problems of course these are not sufficient by themselves you won't get too far without understanding the physical concepts what you are learning but if you keep in a mind if you keep this in your mind that must be helpful in solving your problems considerably thank you